in this lesson we will learn what are selectors in jquery so as the name suggests it is used to select an html element and you can also manipulate it so we will walk around the types of jquery selectors also with examples let's start by using the jquery selector you can easily select any html element on a web page that means an html document after selecting it you can easily manipulate it so the syntax uh, of selectors selector always begins with a dollar and parenthesis is followed let's say an element is having an id class or attribute its name values you can easily select such elements or more than one element based on their id or class using the selectors now let us work around the three types of selectors we have the jquery element selector dot class selector and hash id selector so we will understand them one by one with examples let us start with the element selector the element selector is used to select the elements you just need to mention the name of the element and that's it okay you can select a p element a div or any other element using this selector you need to mention the name of the element as a parameter that's it now let us see the example so we have set up jquery on vs code now let me add a new html page new html file right click new file name it index2.html so now let us see the structure of the web page when we insert jquery i have copied this and pasted it here okay so this is the structure of our web page for our example i'll remove this now let's say i want to set a button on clicking that button the div will hide so we will set it using the element selector let me set the button first okay dot click within this mention your div okay dot hide function to hide it semicolon semicolon here as well now we will set our html let's say i'll set the following for our example i'll set div here within this mention free tutorial and uh, quizzes okay you can also add a p tag here stating learning website for all okay now we have our example here add a button also or so that on clicking that button we will hide the element okay it's fine now now what will happen when you will run this the following will be visible on the web page this button when you will click this button the div the following div will hide because we have used the element selector here and the click function on clicking this button the div will hide using the hide function you can see we missed parenthesis looks fine now go to file save all right click open in default browser our button is also visible when i'll click this the div will hide this will hide you can see we have now easily worked around the element selector on clicking this button the div is now hidden in this way guys you can work around the element selector 
guys we saw how we can work around the element selector just add the name of the element as the parenthesis that's it now we will see the second type of selector that is the id selector okay this id and class term works like css it will use the id attribute to select an element and a hash character is used for the id selector here it is the name of the id is used preceded by hash okay so the following let's say the following is our div with an id demo using the id selector just add hash demo the class name is demo hash demo and work around it when we will see the example the things will be more clear let's see now let us create a new file right click new file index 3 for our example now let us do the changes here only i have selected it copy and paste it so things will be more clear now because we are using our previous example only now what difference we will work around here let me first add a class here so i'll add demo okay sorry id using the id attribute now we will hide this using this button but we have an id attribute here so this won't work now what you need to do you need to mention the class name okay and if you remember the syntax mention hash that's it now this will work perfectly go to file save all right click open in default browser index 3 when i'll click this these two that means the div should hide it's hidden now so in this way guys using the id selector that is the following we have worked around jquery on a web page so guys we saw how we can work around the id selector using the id attribute to select an element if you are having a div with id you can easily access it using the id selector you just need to mention the hash here that's it now let us see the third type of selector that means the class selector it will find elements with a given class like we did before we added id here using the id attribute this will use the class attribute so let's say your div class is demo use the name of the class preceded by a period character that means dot that's it let us see an example to understand it further let me create a new file index4 dot html okay now let me copy this and paste this here so things will be more clear now because we are using our previous example only we added id here right now let me add class now obviously this won't work because hash works with id so i like dot that means the period character now the same things will work button will be clicked and this entire div will be hidden because we have used the hide function file save all right click open in default browser now i'll click on hide element and you can see the div is hidden in this way guys we can work around the class selector guys we saw how we can work around the class selector we have used the class name with preceded by the period character that means the dot and this was our class So guys we saw what is a selector how we can work around the type of selectors we also saw some examples thank you for watching the video